the bar graph. In this lesson, you will learn the meaning, the components, and how to represent the data using bar graph. The bar graph is a chart that represents data using rectangular bars. What is the component of the bar graph? Let's see. First, you need a vertical label like this. Then, we need horizontal label like this. After that, we have to get a scale. You know what the scale? It's something like a ruler. Then, we should have categories labeled. After that, we will represent the data using colorful bars. This is bar graph, so we need bars. The last thing here, we need a title for this graph. Here, we are talking about fruits, so the title will be Student's Favorite Fruit. And this is the components of the bar graph. Now, let's represent the data using the bar graph. Complete the graph. Here, to complete the graph, we'll use the data in this table. Look at this table, student's favorite fruit. You will look on these categories, the fruits. Here we have mangoes, apples, and grapes. First, we have 60 students choose mangoes. So, you will stop at mangoes and color to reach number 6. Let's do it. As you see, 6 students choose mangoes as their favorite fruit. The next, we have apples. 4 students choose apples, so you will color this bar to get 4. Here you will stop on 4. Let's color it like this. The last fruit here is the grapes. Two students choose grapes. So you have to color to reach number two on this graph. Let's color it. Let's answer some questions on this graph. From this graph, how many students like apples best? You will look at the graph. Here we have four, four students like apples. For students. The next question, how many students liked mangoes best? Look here, we have six students prefer or like mangoes. The last question on this graph, which fruit is like the least? You know what is the meaning of least? Least means the smallest amount. Here, where is the smallest amount? Is it 6 or 4 or 2? So, the least fruit is grapes. Just to choose the grapes. So, you will write grapes. Let's solve this graph. Here, you have the bar graph and missing data. If you wanted to complete the table, you will look at the graph. Here we have favorite color. The first color here is red. How many people choose red? Here we have 25. So you will write in the table 25. The next color, the yellow color. Here we have 10 people choose yellow. 10 people choose yellow. So you will write 10 in the table. The last color, the blue color, we have 20 people choose blue. Let's complete the table. Now, let's solve some question on this graph. How many more people like the blue than yellow? How many more means you will get the difference between blue and yellow. The difference means you will subtract. Here, the blue is 20 and the yellow is 10. In subtraction, you will write the bigger number first, 20 minus 10, or blue minus yellow equal 10. The next question, how many people liked red 
and the blue. Red and the blue means the total number of red and the blue. The total or the sum means you will add. You will use plus sign. Here red is 25. Blue is 20. So 25 plus 20 equals 45. The last question. Which color did people like the best? The best color here is red. Look at this graph. From the graph you will get that the red is the most favorite color or the best color in this graph. So you will write red. And this was our lesson. Thank you.